Hello everyone. In today's class, we are going to discuss about partial derivatives of higher orders. Earlier, we have discussed about partial derivatives of first order. That is, suppose f is a function of x and y. That means here x and y are independent variables. Then the rate of change of f with respect to x by keeping y as constant is given by dou f by dou x. Rate of change of f with respect to y by keeping x as constant is given by dou f by dou y. And these two are called as first order partial derivatives. Now, we will differentiate these two partial derivatives again with respect to x and y. That gives us the second order partial derivatives. So let us differentiate this with respect to x. That means you are going to take dou by dou x of this. Is that right? Yeah. That gives you, see, dou by dou x of dou f by dou x, which is given by dou square f by dou x square. Or this can also be written as, since you are differentiating with respect to f twice, it is given by fxx. Remember, first you have to find fx, then you have to differentiate that with respect to x. Okay. Now, differentiate the same function this with respect to y. With respect to y. That means you have to differentiate this with respect to y. Means you have to take dou by dou y of this. Dou by dou y of this function that will be given by dou square f by dou y dou x which is given as fxy so whenever you find this first you have to remember one thing there that first you have to differentiate with respect to x first then with respect to y first you should not differentiate with respect to y first then with respect to x no you have to differentiate in the reverse order if you find anything like this right so if you find like this then you have to differentiate f with respect to x first then that answer has to be differentiated with with respect to y that's why we are written fxy because first you are going to differentiate with respect to x then that answer has to be differentiated with respect to y fxy okay so we have differentiated this with respect to x and y now let us differentiate this with respect to x and y so that means when you take dou by dou x of dou f by dou y dou by dou x of dou, dou f by dou y that is given by dou square f by dou x dou y so when you find like this first you have to differentiate with respect to y this f then you have to differentiate that answer with respect to x so first you are differentiating with respect to y that is f y of x which is given by f y x okay similarly differentiate this with respect to y that is dou by dou y of this so dou by dou y of this that gives you dou square f by dou y square so first you are differentiating with respect to y then again you are differentiating with respect to y so this is how you have to find the second order derivative how you are going to find it find the first order derivatives then differentiate the partial derivative with respect to x uh, with respect to x and y gives you second order derivative differentiate dou f by dou y with respect to x and y that gives you second order partial derivative f y x and f y y in fact you should note that if the function is homogeneous if the function is homogeneous then these two derivatives are equal so it's enough to find one of them and in fact these two are called as mixed partial derivatives because it is the combination of x and y so it's a mixed partial derivatives right and these two mixed partial derivatives will be always equal provided that function is homogeneous so if the given function is homogeneous you don't have to find both of them it's enough to find one of them either differentiate this with respect to y or differentiate this with respect to x both are same so how are you going to find 
partial derivative differentiate this with respect to x again once again that gives you do square f by do x square differentiate this with respect to y that gives you do square f by do y do x differentiate this with respect to x that gives you do square f by do x do y and uh, differentiation of this with respect to y gives you do square f by do y square now once again you partially differentiate this these four with respect to x and y and that gives you partial derivative of third order right partial derivative of third order how differentiate this with respect to x so you will get differentiation of this that is fxx of x so that will that will be given by fxx do by do x of this that is do by do x of this that is do cube f by do x cube then differentiate this with respect to x uh, y so partial derivative of this with respect to y gives you f x x y that is you are differentiating this with respect to y so do by do y of this see do by do y of this which is do, do cube f by do y do x square okay you got this now after this you partially differentiate this with respect to x so partial derivative of this with respect to x that gives you f x y x so partial derivative of this with respect to x that is do cube f by do x do y do x which is also written as do x square into do y there is no problem with this because derivative will not be dependent on uh, the uh, order of this right so you can differentiate by any way you'll get the same answer now differentiate this with respect to y so if you differentiate with respect to y what you'll get f x y y f x y y which is do cube f by do y into do y do x that is do that is what so you can write this one as do cube f by do y square do x right next you differentiate this with respect to x so you'll get f y x x f y x x that is partial derivative of this with respect to x so you'll get do cube f by do x do x do y which is nothing but do x do cube f by do x square do y or do y do x square doesn't matter right next partially differentiate this with respect to y so f y x of y which is given by do y do by do y of this which is given by do cube f by do y do x do y which is nothing but do y square into do x right now partially differentiate this with respect to x so you will get f y y of x which is do by do x of this right that is do cube f by do x do y do y or do x do y square all are one of the same right and differentiate this with respect to y that is f y y that is do by do y of this right do by do y of this that gives you do by do y of this which is nothing but do cube f by do y into do y do y do y that is do y cube but if f is homogeneous as i said you should note that your x y y mixed derivative x y y is same as f y x f y x y which is same as f y y x all these are same and similarly f x y x is same as f y x x f y x x which is same as f x f x x y why because this contains do y do x square this also contains do y do x square is that right this also contains do y do x square so that's why these three are equal okay why these three are equal because this contains do y square do x this contains do y square do x this contains do y square do x that's why these three are equal these three mixed derivatives 
So that means how many distinct derivatives are there? Four. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Only four you have to find. So there are four distinct partial derivatives are there. That is what I've written. Do cube f by do x square, do cube f by do x square, do y, do cube f by do x, do y square, and do cube f by do y cube. These are the only four distinct derivatives. Third order partial derivative. So this is how you have to differentiate. Right? First you have to find, uh, if you want to find third order derivative, then first you have to find first order, then you have to differentiate it to get second order, then you have to differentiate them to get the third order. All right. Let us see some problems. First one is find the second order partial derivatives at 1, comma 1 for the function f of x, y equal to this. Okay. So given that this is the function, let us call that one as equation 1. Now differentiate this with respect to x and y. So that we'll get first order derivative. So do f by do x. Remember when you are differentiating with respect to x, your y is constant. Only x is variable. Okay. So derivative of x square is 2x. Plus, because I am differentiating with respect to x, this y is constant. That will remain as it is. What is the derivative of log x? 1 by x. So we got the derivative of f with respect to x. Let's call this one as 2. Equation 2. Now differentiate this f with respect to y. When you are differentiating with respect to y, your x is constant. So do f by do y is equal to x square is constant. So derivative of constant is 0 plus log x is constant because we are differentiating with respect to y. What is the derivative of y with respect to y? 1. So, so simply 1 into log x is log x. Let's call this one as equation 3. Now let us find out the second order derivative. So for that, what I'll do, first I'll differentiate this equation with respect to x and y. Let me differentiate this with respect to x. That gives you dou square f by dou x square. That is derivative of this function dou f by dou x with respect to x. Differentiate with respect to x. When you are differentiating with respect to x, your y is constant. So 2 into derivative of x is 1 plus y is constant. Derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. So we got this, right? We got this much. Now, differentiate this with respect to y. So when you are differentiating with respect to y, what do you get? Dou square f by dou y dou x. As I said, the one which you are uh, newly differentiating, that term should come in front of this. So dou y dou x. Differentiate this with respect to y. When you are differentiating with respect to y, your x is constant. Now 2x is constant. Therefore, derivative is 0 plus 1 by x is constant. What is the derivative of y with respect to y? 1. So you'll get 1 by x. Right? Now partially differentiate the second one with respect to x. When you are differentiating with respect to x, your y is constant. Remember. So dou by dou x of this, that is dou square f by dou x dou y is equal to derivative of this with respect to x. Yeah, it is 1 by x. Right? Now differentiate this with respect to y. Dou by dou y of this. That is dou square f by dou y square equal to. There is no word y term. Therefore, this is a constant. So what is the derivative of constant with respect to y? Zero. We got. But we need partial derivatives at 1 comma 1. So put x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 for the second order partial derivatives. So what are you going to get? 2 plus 1 into minus 1 by 1, which is 1. And 1 by 1 is 1. And 1 by 1 is 1. Here, there is no change in the answer because it is a constant. So you will get 0. So this was the required answer for the given problem. OK, finding the second order partial derivatives at 1 comma 1 for the given function. So this is how you have to solve the problem when they are given for finding the second order or third order partial derivatives. Let us see one more problem. Verify fxy is equal to fyx for f of xy is equal to sine of x cos y. Now remember, first you have to differentiate f with respect to x. Then you have to differentiate f with respect to y. 
Then you have to differentiate that fx with respect to y, fy with respect to x. Remember those things. Now they are given this. So let us find out because we need fx and fy. Let us differentiate these two partially with respect to x and y. So fx is dou f by dou x. That is partial derivative of f with respect to x. Remember here x and y are in the angle of sine. So you cannot take them outside and you cannot differentiate them. So you have to take outside function first. Then you have to differentiate. What is the derivative of sine cos? What is the angle x cos y? Now leave the sine. What is remaining x cos y? You have to differentiate this with respect to x. But when you are differentiating with respect to x, what is your cos y? Constant. So keep the cos y as it is. What is the derivative of x? 1. So that is what we got here. Now, when you are differentiating with respect to y, again y is present in the angle. So this is also a function of y. And y change other, idu change agata ilva, sign of this, cos of y change agata. So adu idu olagata ne irudna, sign of this change agi agata, obviously. So this is also a function of y. So let me differentiate sign first. What is the derivative of sign? Cos. What is the angle? X cos y. I have written. Now leave the sign. What is remaining? X cos y. But since you are differentiating with respect to y, your x is constant. So let me keep x as it is. What is the derivative of cos y? Minus sin y. We have written. Now since we need fxy, remember here fxy is needed. That means we have to differentiate fx with respect to y. So differentiate fx with respect to y. So that will give you fxy. That is dou by dou y of this. Right? Differentiate this with respect to y. But remember, this also contains y and this also contains y. So both are functions of y. Therefore, you have to apply product rule. What product rule says? Keep the first one as it is. So I have written cos of x cos y as it is. What is the derivative of cos y? Minus sin y. Plus, now keep the second one as it is. Differentiate the first one. Here, what is the outside function? Cos. So what is the derivative of cos? Minus sin of angle is x cos y. Right on. Now leave the cos. What is remaining? x cos y. But here, x is a constant because we are differentiating with respect to y. Am I right? So I'll keep x as it is. What is the derivative of cos y? Minus sin y. Simplify this. We'll get this much. Okay. Now, different. So we got f x y. Now we have to find f y x. What do you have to? Uh, what is your f y of x? Differentiate f y with respect to x. So we have to differentiate equation three with respect to x. That gives you f y x. That is dou by dou x of this. Okay. Now, this contains y, so it's a constant. So I'll write down that one outside. But this function also contains x, and this also contains x. So we have to apply a product rule. What product rule says? Remember, this is constant. I've written outside. So keep the first one as it is, cos of x cos y. What is the derivative of x? 1. Plus, keep x as it is. Now differentiate cos. What is the derivative of cos? Minus sine of angle is x cos y. So after differentiating cos, now you go for this. x cos y. Remember you are differentiating with respect to x. Therefore, cos y is constant. Therefore what? Cos y is constant. Sorry. Here. Okay. So this is actually cos y. This is cos y because you know, remember we have kept x as it is in the second one. We have to differentiate first one, isn't it? So here we have to differentiate this with respect to y, uh, x. So cos y will remain same cos y into derivative of x is 1. So this goes off. 
it's okay derivative of x is 1 now what do you got this is minus sorry this has to be changed right now multiply this by minus sign so minus sine by cos of this minus actually second one is minus into minus becomes plus plus x is there x right then after okay let me write the text itself x just a minute it will come so this becomes plus plus x am i right then cos y into sin y this sin y this sin y comes here right sin y into this sin y into this that's the reason so sin y into what is remaining sin of x cos y x cos y right now see these two whether these two are same or not the what is the first term sin y into minus sin y into cos of this a yeah, same term is here right both are same these two the next one is x cos y sin y into sin of this yes x cos y into sin y into sin of this so these two are equal right this is wrong this is wrong so you are getting fxy is equal to fyx fxy is equal to fyx so we, we have proved these two are equal okay now let us see one more example if u is equal to x to the power of y show that dou square u by dou x dou y is equal to dou square u by dou y dou x right let us prove that one let me mark this so that uh, you should not get confused okay now so given equation is this now partially differentiate this with respect to x and y and see what you are going to get let us differentiate with respect to x when you are differentiating with respect to x you should note that your y is constant so that means here the power is constant therefore this is of the form x to the power of n and we know what is the derivative of x to the power of n n into x to the power of n minus 1 by the same way because this is constant i'm doing it so y into x to the power of y minus 1 so we got now we have to differentiate this with respect to y so though u by though y equal to now when you are differentiating with respect to y your x is constant therefore this is of the form a to the power of x what is the derivative of a to the power of x we know the derivative of a to the power of x is a to the power of x into log a where a is constant am i right a to the power of x into log a because your x is constant your y is variable this is of this form so by this result what is the derivative of x to the power of y x to the power of y into log what is your base x log x you got this now we need actually do square u by do x do y so you have to differentiate do u by do y with respect to x and do square u by do y do x means do u by do x you have to differentiate with respect to y so let us first differentiate this with respect to y do by do y of this that gives you do square u by do y do x right so when you are differentiating with respect to y this also contains y and this one also contains y but remember your x is constant so let me keep y as it is then it is of the form a to the power of x now x to the power of y minus 1 is of this form because your x is constant and y minus 1 is variable now derivative of this is according to this x to the power of y minus 1 into derivative of x uh, i mean log x so derivative of this we got plus now keep the x to the power of y minus 1 as it is 
differentiate y with respect to y one now in both of them x to the power of y minus one is common you will get this much now what what do you have to do we need to find do square u by do x do y so you have to differentiate do u by do y with respect to x so let us differentiate the second one with respect to x do by do x half gives you this so when you are this also contains x and this term also contains x therefore you have to apply product rule okay and remember when you are differentiating with respect to x your y is constant so this is constant so x to the power of y into what is the derivative of log x 1 by x plus now keep log x as it is what is the derivative of x to the power of y it is of the form x to the power of n a constant so n into that is y into x to the power of y minus 1 now send this x to numerator that becomes x to the power of minus 1 x to the power of y into x to the power of minus 1 they are of same base we can add the power therefore you will get x to the power of y minus 1 plus y into x to the power of y minus 1 into log x in these two x to the power of y minus 1 is common you get this now see the equation 4 and 5 they are one and the same therefore from 1 and 2 we have these two are equal that proves the result. Right? Let us go for next one. Suppose u is a function of a, x and t given by this. Then we have to show these two are equal. Here we need second derivative of u with respect to t and second derivative of u with respect to x. So we need second order partial derivatives. Let us find out first order partial derivatives first. Differentiate u with respect to x. So what is the derivative of phi? Phi dash. First order derivative. Into. Now leave the phi. What is the remaining variable? x plus a t. When you are differentiating with respect to x, your t is constant. So derivative of a t is 0. And derivative of x is 1. So 1 plus 0 is 1. That's why I have written nothing here. Now what is the derivative of psi? Psi dash of x minus 80. Now leave psi. What is remaining? x minus 80. What is the derivative of x? 1. What is the derivative of t? 0. So simply you will get 1. So this is the required equation. That is dou u by dou x. Now differentiate this with respect to t. So you will get dou u by dou, dou t is equal to. Because phi contains t also. What is the derivative of phi? Phi dash of x plus 80 into now, what is the derivative of x? 0, because you are differentiating with respect to t. So, a is constant. That will remain as it is. What is the derivative of t? 1. So, 1 is there. Now, similarly, what is the derivative of psi? Psi dash of x minus 80. Now, Lee, uh, now differentiate x minus 80 with respect to t. Derivative of x is 1. Minus a is constant. Derivative of t is 1. So, you will get this much. Now, actually, we need do square u by do t square and do square u by do x square. So, do by do x of this gives you do square u by do x square. So, again, differentiate this with respect to x. So, when you differentiate with respect to x, what is the derivative of phi dash? Phi double dash of x plus 80. Now, what is the derivative of x plus 80? Derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of this is 0 because t is constant. What is the derivative of psi dash? psi double dash of x minus 80 into now what is the derivative of x minus 80 derivative of x with respect to x is 1 derivative of t is 0 because you, uh, t is constant so you will get this much now we need dou square u by dou t square so partially differentiate this with respect to t right now differentiate this you will get Derivative of phi dash is phi double dash of x plus 80. Now, what is the derivative of x plus 80? Derivative of x is 0 because you are differentiating with respect to t. a is constant comes out. So, a into a, already 1a is there. Derivative of t is 1 plus derivative of psi dash is psi double dash of this into minus a is already there. Now, what is the derivative of x minus 80? Derivative of x is 0 because it is with respect to t, minus a is constant comes out, derivative of t is 1. Now, in these two, what is the common factor? a square is common. 
minus a into minus a is plus a. So a square, a square comes out. Remaining is this. But this is nothing but dou square u by dou x square. Substitute it there for these two are equal to each other. This completes the proof. So this is how you have to find the second order derivative. Now, the next one is, suppose u is equal to e to the power of x y into sin z. Show that dou cube y by dou x dou y dou z is equal to dou cube y by dou y dou z dou x. Now, let us see what is this first. So, first you have to integrate, uh, sorry, differentiate with respect to z dou u by dou z. Dou u by dou z. Then you have to differentiate that answer with respect to y. Then you have to differentiate that answer with respect to x. That gives you triple order derivative which is needed for us. Similarly, this one. First, you have to differentiate with respect to x. Not with y. First, you have to differentiate with respect to x. Then you have to differentiate that answer with respect to z. Then you have to differentiate that answer with respect to y. So, First, let us find out what is dou u by dou z and dou u by dou x. So, differentiate u with respect to x. When you are differentiating with respect to x, your y and z are constants. So, in e to the power of x, y, y is constant. And sin z is also constant. So, we don't have to apply product rule. So, sin z remains as it is. Now, this is of the form e to the power of ax because y is constant. What is the derivative of e to the power of ax? e to the power of ax into a. That means we know that derivative of e to the power of anything is e to the power of same number. Now leave e. What is remaining x into y? Because y is constant, I'll write down as it is. What is the derivative of x? 1. So you'll get this. Now similarly, what is the derivative of u with respect to z? When you are differentiating with respect to z, you are x and y are constant. Therefore, this term is constant, e to the power of x, y. What is the derivative of sin z? Cos z. That's it. Now, after getting the answers, you have to differentiate dou u by dou x with respect to what? Dou z. Dou by dou z of this. So, let us differentiate this with respect to z. When you are differentiating with respect to z, your y into e to the power of x, y is constant. So, what is the derivative of sin z? Cos z. We got the required answer this answer. Now differentiate this 3 with respect to y because we need dou by dou y of this. So differentiate this with respect to y. When you are differentiating with respect to y, remember your x and z are constant. Therefore cos z is constant. x is also constant. So cos z remains same. Okay, cos z remains same. Now Differentiate e to the power of this. Derivative of e to the power of this is e to the power of that number only. Now leave e. Remaining is x, y. But in x, y, x is constant because we are differentiating with respect to y. Derivative of y is 1. So we'll get this much. So we got this answer. Right? Now you have to differentiate this answer with respect to z. Uh, what is this? Though y, sorry, this is. Right? So this has to be the y. And this has to be differentiated with respect to x. So let us define, differentiate this with respect to y. So if you differentiate with respect to y, this is constant. So cos z is constant. But these two terms contain y. So you have to apply product rule. So let me keep y as it is. Differentiate e to the power of x, y. What is the derivative of e to the power of x, y? e to the power of x, y only into. Now leave the e. Remaining is x, y. When you are differentiating with respect to y, your x is constant. So x comes out. What is the derivative of y? 1. So this is the required answer. Now keep the second term e to the power of x, y as it is. What is the derivative of y? 1. Now similarly differentiate this with respect to x. So when you are differentiating with respect to x, your z is constant, so cos z comes out. 
this also contains x and this one also contains x so you have to apply product rule so let me keep x as it is what is the derivative of e to the power of xy e to the power of xy now leave e what is remaining xy but since you are differentiating with respect to x your y is constant so y comes out what is the derivative of x one that's it plus now keep e to the power of xy second term as it is what is the derivative of x with respect to x one so we got this now compare these two these two are one and the same therefore these two are equal and that completes the result right so this is how you have to find triple order derivative now let us see one more problem if u is equal to log of this then you have to show this now your x y z all three are present in log of this so this is a function of x y z all of them right let us call that one as one now here this implies what first you have to find dou u by dou z then you have to differentiate that with respect to y and what about this one first you have to find dou x by dou u by dou x then you have to differentiate that with respect to z what about this one first you have to find dou u by dou y then you have to differentiate that answer with respect to x so we need dou u by dou x dou u by dou y dou u by dou z all three of them so let us pa partially differentiate one with respect to x y z so with respect to x means dou u by dou x equal to when you are differentiating with respect to x your y and z are constants but remember your log contains x also and you cannot separate them so first you have to differentiate log what is the derivative of log 1 by e of this so 1 by e of this now leave the log what is remaining x square plus y square plus z square now differentiate this with respect to x so what is the derivative of x square 2x plus what is the derivative of y square zero because y is a constant derivative of z square zero because z is a constant when you are differentiating with respect to x so simply remaining is 2x now similarly differentiate this with respect to y again derivative of log is 1 by of this derivative of x square is 0 because you are differentiating with respect to y derivative of y square is 2y plus derivative of z square is 0 so simply you will get 2y similarly what is the derivative of u with respect to z derivative of log is 1 by of this because it contains z also now what is the derivative of x square 0 derivative of y square 0 because both are constants when you are differentiating with respect to z what is the derivative of z square 2z we got this now as i said you have to differentiate dou u by dou h with respect to z so differentiate this with respect to z so you will get dou z by dou dou by dou z of dou u by dou x which is dou square u by dou z dou x this one and multiply that by y so when you differentiate this by z let us apply product rule because the, the product of these two but remember here 2x is constant so i don't have to apply product rule just have to differentiate this this is of the form 1 by x and we know what is the derivative of 1 by x minus 1 by of this whole square right is that right into derivative of this derivative of x square is 0 because you are differentiating with respect to z derivative of y square is 0 derivative of z square is 2z so you will get minus 4xz divided by this but multiplying that by y gives you minus 4xyz divided by this we have multiplied this equation by y 2 into 2 4xz into y 4xyz with minus sign okay now after that we need dou square u by dou x dou y so differentiate this with respect to x so that gives you dou square u by dou x dou y right when you are differentiating with respect to x your y is constant so uh, you can keep this one as it is but this one contains y so this is of the form 1 by x what is the derivative of 1 by x minus 1 by x square plus y square plus x square whole square now what is the derivative of x square 0 uh, sorry 2x because you are differentiating with respect to x what is the derivative of y square 0 plus derivative of this one 0 so simply you will get this much but we have to multiply that by what 
you have to multiply that by z so let us multiply this by z z into this so 2 into 2 4 x y z comes minus 4 x y z by this now similarly we need dou square u by dou y dou z so you differentiate dou u by dou z with respect to y so dou by dou y of this gives you dou square u by dou y dou z when you are differentiating with respect to y your 2 z is constant so 2 z remains as it is but since you are differentiating 1 by of this so this is of the form 1 by x derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square that is minus 1 by x square plus y square plus z square now what is the derivative of x square 0 what is the derivative of y square 2y plus derivative of z square 0 so simply you will get this much but you have to multiply that by what x so let us multiply this by x so x into this equal to multiply both sides so minus 2 into 2 4 x y z because z and y are already here i'm multiplying by x now see equation 5 6 7 all three are same in the right hand side therefore left hand sides has to be same that is what the required answer is okay now let us see one more problem Suppose u is a function of r and r is a function of x, y, z. Right? Remember, u is a function of r and r is a function of x, y, z. Then find out what is your second order derivative of u with respect to x plus second order derivative of u with respect to y plus second order derivative of u with respect to z equal to this. We have to show this. For this, we need dou square u by dou x square, dou square u by dou y square plus dou square u by dou z square. Let us find out them. Before finding them, because your u is a function of r and r is a function of x, y, z, you have to go for chain rule. I'll show you that. I'll tell you what is meant by chain rule. Right? In the later classes. Now, let us see here. Given that r square is this. So, first, let us find out what is the first order and second order derivative of this with respect to x, y, z. So let us differentiate this with respect to x. Now, since r square is there, derivative of, uh, you have to assume that this is also, because your r is also a function of x, y, z, you have to assume that this is of the form x square. What is the derivative of r square to r? Now leave the power. What is remaining? r. So you are finding derivative of r with respect to x and your r is a function of x, y, z, so you have to use partial derivative because y and z are kept constant. So, dou r by dou x. So, first you have differentiated r square, which is 2r. Then derivative of r with respect to x is dou r by dou x equal to. What is the derivative of x square? 2x. What is the derivative of y square? 0, because you are differentiating with respect to x. Plus derivative of z square? 0. That gives you partial derivative of 1 with respect to x. Right? Similarly, partial derivative of 1 with respect to y is, again, derivative of r square is 2r into dou r by dou y is equal to derivative of x square is 0, derivative of y square is 2y, derivative of z square is 0. Now, similarly, derivative of partial derivative of 1 with respect to z, derivative of r square is 2r, derivative of r with respect to z is dou r by dou z equal to Derivative of x square is 0, y square is 0, plus derivative of z square is 2z. Now, this implies, send this 2r to this side, that becomes divided by 2, 2 get cancelled, x by r. Similarly, y by r. Similarly, z by r. Now, again, differentiate this with respect to x. So, dou by dou x of this. Because your x and r both contains x, you have to assume that this is of the form u by v. So, denominator square, derivative of that will be denominator square. Then denominator into r into derivative of x is 1 minus numerator x into derivative of r with respect to x is dou r by dou x. But we know what is dou r by dou x, x by r, substitute it. So, you will get r minus x square by r. If you take LCM, you will get r square minus x square by r. If you send that r to denominator, you'll get r square into r, which is r cube. So you'll get r square, take LCM, you'll get r square minus x square divided by r cube. That is your dou square r by 
low x square. Similarly, differentiate this with respect to y by the same method because your y contains y and r also contains y. You have to apply u by v rule, which is of the same form like this. Do the same thing, you'll get this. That is your dou square y by dou r, I mean dou square r by dou y square. Similarly, differentiate this with respect to z once again. Again, both contains the term z. Therefore, you have to apply u by v rule. You'll get this much. Now consider what is your u. What was your u? Your u was r to the power of m. Consider that. We need uxx, uyy, uzz. So what you do is differentiate this with respect to x, y, z. What are you going to get? Dou u by dou x is equal to. Now your r contains x, y, z. So assume that this is of the form x to the power of m. What is the derivative of x to the power of m? m into x to the power of m minus 1. So similarly, m into r to the power of m minus 1. Now leave the power. What do you get? You'll get r. What is the derivative of r with respect to x? We know that it is dou r by dou x. OK. Similarly, differentiate u with respect to y. R contains y also. So dou u by dou x equal to derivative of this m into r to the power of m minus 1 into leave the power derivative of r with respect to y. Similarly, dou u by dou z equal to m into r to the power of m minus 1 into dou r by dou z by chain rule. But we need second order derivative. So differentiate the first one with respect to x. But remember, m is constant. No problem. Your r contains x and this one also contains x. So you have to apply product rule. So let me keep m into r to the power of m minus 1 as it is. What is the derivative of this with respect to x? That is dou by dou x of this, which is dou square r by dou x square. We got. Plus, now keep the second one dou r by dou x as it is uh, kept. Now differentiate this. Here m is constant. That will remain as it is. Now again, r to the power of m minus 1, differentiation of this, m minus 1 into r to the power of m minus 2 into leave the power. What is remaining? r. What is the derivative of r? Do r by do x. Now that is nothing but m into r to the power of m minus 1 into what is your do square r by do x square? We got that one. That is r square minus x square by r cube. Substitute it plus m into m minus 1 into r to the power of m minus 2 into what is your dou r by dou x? We know that dou r by dou x is x by r. So x by r into x by r is x by r whole square. Right? Now if you take this r cube to numerator, that becomes r to the power of minus 3. Here r to the power of m minus 1 and r to the power of minus 3, they are of same base. So we can add the power m minus 1 minus 3 becomes m minus 4 r square minus x square, same thing remains. Similarly here, r square comes, if you take that one to numerator, that becomes r to the power of minus 2, r to the power of m minus 2, minus 2, which is r to the power of m minus 4. So in both of them, m and r to the power of m minus 4 are common. Let me take uh, that. Remaining is, right, r square minus x square plus m minus 1 into x square. x square into m, uh, this has come out, this has come out. So m into x square is mx square minus 1 into x square is minus x square. So minus x square plus minus x square is minus 2x square. x square is common. So m minus 2 into x square. This much will come. Now again differentiate this with respect to y by the same way which we have done this. Right? So your m into r to the power of m minus 1 remains as it is. Derivative of do r by do y with respect to do by do y, I mean with respect to y, that gives you do square r by do y square. As we got same steps, only thing we have to replace x by y. That's it. Plus, now keep the do r by do y as it is. m constant. What is the derivative of r to the power of m minus 1? m minus 1 into r to the power of m minus 2 into derivative of r is do r by do y. Substitute them, do square r by dou y square and dou r by dou y as we know from this, right? Substitute them here and simplify, you'll get this one. 
Similarly, differentiate five that is this with respect to z. Again, product rule you have to apply as you have done in both of them. They are both do uh, partial derivative, right? So find out. We'll get this much. Substitute and simplify. So you got equation six, seven, eight, which is u x x, u y y, u z z. Substitute them here. This is your u x x. This is your u y y. This is your u z z. In all of them, m r to the power of m minus four is constant. So remaining is r square plus m minus two into x square. R square plus m minus two into y square plus r square plus m minus two into z square. In these three, r square, r square, r square, three r square. In these three, m minus two is common, so m minus two has been taken out. Remaining is x square plus y square plus z square. But they have given that x square plus y square plus z square is what r square. So let me substitute that. Right? Let me substitute x square plus y square plus z square as r square. Okay, so r square is present here also, here also. So r square comes out. Remaining is three plus m minus two. M three minus two is one, so m plus one comes out. M plus m into m plus one into. Because of these two are same base, we can add the power. So m minus four plus two, which is m minus two. Sorry, this is m minus two, not four. Okay, so that is the required answer. See here. M into m plus one into r to the power of m by m minus two. Okay, so we got the answer. Now let us see one more problem. Suppose u is a function of r, and r is given by this. Then show that second derivative of u with respect to x and second derivative of u with respect to y, their sum is equal to this. Now this is one and the same like this. The above problem, but only thing instead of Uh, your r is a function of x, y, z. It is a function of x and y. That's it. You have to solve this by the same method as you have done the above problem. Now, if r equal to this, square on both sides, you will get r square equal to square square root cancels. You will get x square plus y square. In the above problem, you had x square plus y square plus z square. Now, differentiate this with respect to x and y twice as we have done above. Right. You'll get this much. Same answer, right? Same answer. Then you had a function u is equal to f of r, but here u is equal to r to the power of m. They are different. Now let us find out them, right? So what is your u? F of r. Now differentiate this with respect to x. What is the because your r contains x y, this is a function of x and y also. So what is the derivative of f? F dash of r into now leave f, remaining is r. What is the derivative of r with respect to x? Do r by do x. Similarly, what is the derivative of u with respect to y? Do u by do y is equal to derivative of f is f dash of r. Leave f. What is remaining uh, r? What is the derivative of r? Do r by do y. Now we need u x x and u y y. Therefore, again differentiate this with respect to x and this with respect to y. But both of them contains x. Both of them contains y. So you have to differentiate by product rule. Now keep f dash of r as it is. Differentiate this with respect to x. That is do by do x of this, which is do square r by do x square plus. Keep the Second one as it is, differentiate first one. What is the derivative of f dash? F double dash of r. Leave this. Remaining is r. What is the derivative of r with respect to x? Two r by two x. Chain rule you have to apply. But we know that what is your two square r by two x square? It is r square minus x square by r cube. What is your two r by two x? X by r. So two times means x by r whole square. That is your u x x. Now differentiate this with respect to y. What you'll get? You'll get u y y is equal to do square u by do y square of this by the same lines. Substitute them and simplify. F dash of r is common. F dash of r by r cube is common in these two. Take it out. 
you'll get r square minus x square plus r square minus y square. In these two, f dash of r by r square is common. Take it out. Remaining is x square plus y square. Simplify this. But you know that x square plus y square is r square. Substitute it. You'll get 2r square minus r square, which is r square. r square, r cube. 2r get cancels. 1r remains. Here also r square, r square cancels. f dash of r comes. So that is your required answer. This completes the solution. At given few problems, you work out and write them as assignment. We'll continue in the next class.